Hello, and welcome to this introductory tutorial on the Omniverse Launcher. The Launcher provides your gateway to all things Omniverse, including apps, connectors, and related utilities. As you can see here, the Launcher provides a handsome interface for launching apps, managing versions, exploring new tools, and even provides a Nucleus collaboration server perfect for smaller workgroups to collaborate. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's start at the beginning with Omniverse Launcher on its first run. And let's walk through the setup process. The first option you're going to be confronted with is the EULA. If you agree to the terms of the agreement, just go ahead and say, I agree. That'll begin the installation process. The next option you will confront is the agreement for NVIDIA to use your non-personal data in improving the quality and usability of Omniverse. This is mandatory during the open beta, but may become optional in future releases. Let's go ahead and agree by pressing the Continue button. This next set of options becomes a bit more critical and requires a small amount of foresight. Each of these paths should be considered for differing reasons, especially if you have more than one drive on your computer. For myself, I am going to select my large and fast SSD drive, which will both benefit my performance on the Omniverse and allows me the room to grow over time. Let's start with this library path. This path allows you to select where the Omniverse launcher will install your apps, connectors, and other Omniverse tools. This location benefits from a fast drive, but does not require a large footprint. For most people, this location is fine at the defaults, but I will select a folder which I have specified for my library. Next, we have the data path. If you decide to host a collaboration server, this is where your Nucleus collaboration server will store user content for all connected users. Though a fast drive will help here, users should choose a drive with ample space as this will grow over time. Even with small workgroups, the data footprint here can grow to terabytes in size depending on usage. Okay, last we have the cache path. This path is where all cached files will be stored. This path especially benefits from speed, though again, a larger drive can be beneficial as cache grows fairly significantly when working with an Omniverse Nucleus. If you are unsure where to choose, or you only have one drive, you can feel safe in using the default path. Once installed, we can go ahead and change these paths at any time. Once comfortable with your selections, go ahead and select Continue to continue. We are well on our way, and Launcher has been successfully installed. Unfortunately, and as we can see, we have nothing populating our launcher. Let's go ahead and fix that by visiting the Exchange tab. Here we can review apps, connectors, and tools to decide what we want to install. Let's begin our library with some of the more utility-oriented tools, as virtually all users will want to have them when working on the Omniverse. Let's select Omniverse Drive, and then let's select the Install option on the top right of the interface. Excellent. Omniverse Drive is now installing. Next, let's select Omniverse Cache and follow the same procedure. As you can see, installing with Omniverse Launcher is as easy as point and click. Now, take your time to review other Omniverse apps and install whichever you choose. I'll go ahead and install all the apps in the Exchange, so you can feel free to pause and install at your leisure. We will move on to installing some connectors when you are done. Okay, assuming you have installed the apps of your choosing, let's take a look at connectors. First, select the Connectors tab in the Exchange. This will list all available connectors. However, you must have the host application installed for it to function as expected. I happen to have Autodesk Maya and UE4 installed on this computer. I would like them to be able to interconnect with Omniverse, so I will select and install these connectors in the same way we did with apps. Go ahead and peruse this list for host applications you want to connect, and install the provided connectors. Once installed, they will be able to interact with the Omniverse via these connectors. Okay, now that we have our apps and connectors installed, let's hop over to the Collaboration tab. Here, we will install our Nucleus Collaboration Services. This will turn our computer into a Nucleus Collaboration Server and allow other users to connect to and collaborate on your computer. This Collaboration Server is also useful for single-user workflows where connecting several apps and connectors to the same project is wanted. 
Anyhow, let's go ahead and install the Nucleus Collaboration Services now. Simply click to install. Upon installation, we will be confronted with a choice for the data path. As this path was carefully selected during install, we can continue without change. Great! Now, let's go ahead and create our administration account for our newly installed server. To do this, simply fill in the details. This is the admin account, so please be sure to remember the username and password you choose. They will be needed when you want to connect to your server from either apps or connectors. Okay, once filled in, select Continue to complete the process. Excellent! We are almost ready to conclude this video, but first, let's go ahead and jump back to the Library tab. You should now see that the apps, connectors, and utilities you installed are listed on the left side of the interface. Selecting them will display all pertinent information and links to documentation as well as provide the ability to launch, update, and uninstall the app. You may have noticed the messages showing up in the top right corner, which alerts you to required actions, updates, and other pertinent information. Just to the right of that, we have the User Settings tab, which allows you to change your path options we discussed during install. Okay, that sums up the launcher and should get you headed in the right direction with the Omniverse. Go ahead and fire up those freshly installed apps and get started. Don't forget to check out the documentation portals linked from each app. There is a wealth of information there to help you continue your journey into the Omniverse. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day.